Everyone is talking about big name tools like Runaway, Kling, and Minimax, and for a good reason. But what if I told you that there's a whole world of lesser known AI tools that are quietly shining in the AI landscape with their creative and unique animation capabilities? In this video, we are putting the spotlight on five hidden gems. These tools are pushing boundaries, each with their own unique flair, and they're perfect for any creator who wants to stand out. Let's get into it. Let's talk about Kyber Super Studio, a tool that has completely redefined how you can transform static images into stunning dynamic videos. If you've heard about Kyber before, you might remember its older version, an AI art tool that transformed images with basic motion effects, giving that Kyber feel to videos. The team at Kyber has taken things to the next level with Kyber Super Studio. This upgraded version brings so much more power, customization, and versatility. Here is how it works. So this would be your workspace canvas where you're going to be organizing all of your creations. Of course, Kyber also offers different kinds of options for tools that makes for seamless workflow. For example, you have multiple AI models and tools for various creative needs. For example, you can create video with Loom or Runaway, you can generate some images with Flux, or even restyle your profile picture, logo, or photos and images. We're going to be taking a look at these particular tools a little bit later. But now I also want to point out the rich template library, because Kyber does offer a large variety of pre-made templates which are tailored for different content types. So for example, you have typography, album covers, mood boards, and animations. But without further ado, let's get into creating something cool. So I'm going to begin by creating an image with Flux to start the process. So I'm going to click on that and it's going to give me this wonderful little window that will allow me to input my prompt and adjust a couple of more things. Here I'm going to put in my prompt. I'm going to make it quite detailed just because it will make for a more accurate image. And of course I can adjust the model that I want to use and even the aspect ratio, which there are a lot of options. I'm going to go for the one by one. Clicking on this smiley face, you can start generate your images. If you want to do two, you can just click twice. And of course, from here you have more customization options. So they're like basic editing tools. You can do crop, brightness, contrast, and so forth. But overall, these images are pretty awesome. I love them. They're bright, vibrant, and very cool looking overall. And it's good that I generated two images because it gives me a variety of things to work with and they both look absolutely beautiful. Now let's move on to animation. So this is where the fun begins. I'm going to start by attaching another model to this image. For this one, I'm going to go with Luma just because I feel like it would fit the image best. As you can see here, I have the image already imported and I'm just going to do a quick adjustment to my prompt just because I want the video to do a particular thing, which in this case is going to be walking instead of standing. And there are a couple more things I can adjust. For example, aspect ratio, and I can also loop the video. So let's do that. So now that I have everything adjusted, I'll just move on to creating this video. Can't wait to see how it turns out. And here is the finished product. That looks amazing. So Kyber not only made the astronaut walk, but it also made the clouds go back and forth, which I think is a really cool addition. I did mention the classic Kyber look in the beginning of this video, so let's try to achieve that. Now that looks awesome. Let's do another quick generation just so I could show you what Kyber is capable of. I'm going to generate another image. This time it's going to be a little bunny. So here I'm going to put in my prompt quickly and to do the adjustments and let's do it. For this animation, I'm going to use runway. Let's do a quick adjustment. And there we go. And ta-da, there you go. A little bunny sitting and enjoying the whimsical air of an enchanted forest. Love that. And now that everything is ready, let's just quickly export our videos and we are done. So overall, Kyber is pretty cool. I did find myself struggling a little bit with how detailed my prompts had to be just for me to get the desired outcome. Also, the waiting time was a little bit on the longer side, but I think that just depends on how heavy your projects and creations are. 
I personally truly appreciate that you can get super creative on Kyber. I mean, not only image generation and image animation, but there's so many other things that can be done on that platform. And if you would want to explore it on your own, the link to it is in the description. Also, while you're down there, let me know if you want a full Kyber tutorial. If you're a fan of anime, let me show you Tooncrafter, a fantastic tool that specializes in anime and manga style video creation. It is trained to capture the unique aesthetic and motion. So think dramatic camera pans, flowy hair, and action-packed scenes. Looking at the homepage of Tooncrafter, you can actually see a couple of examples down here to get you inspired and also see what works. You can compare the numbers and even some prompts. But let's begin and start generating something of our own. I'm gonna begin with two images that are fairly the same. There's just one slight alteration and that is exactly what I want to animate. The images that I'm using are actually generated on Leonardo AI, but you can use anything like Midjourney, Flux, just about any tool that is able to give you good anime consistent characters. Now that images are uploaded, I'm just gonna type in a simple prompt. And that's the cool thing about this tool that short, simple prompts work well. If your animation is a little bit more detailed and complicated, I would suggest putting as many details in the prompt as you possibly can. And also would suggest to test a couple of prompts and see what works best. After that, of course, I can adjust a couple of things down here, which is animation speed and style. And there you have it. This is my generation. And basing this off of only two images, I think it did a wonderful job. Also, I found myself struggling with the prompt just a little bit, just to see what works, because by the third prompt, I was able to get what I wanted. But since it does accept really short prompts, I think it's no problem to just play around. Also, the interface is too easy for anyone professional or a beginner, so I can't really argue with that. As a quick workflow hack before diving into animation, prepare your images in pairs with clear expressions for smoother transitions. If you're creating a longer video or story-driven content, start by sketching or uploading a storyboard. Tooncrafter can animate each frame with the same art style and flow. Now this next tool is so easy to use and it brings a lot of fun results. We're going to be animating cartoon characters. So of course we're talking about Adobe Express. Adobe Express is pretty much very similar to what Canva is. It is a web-based platform where you can create designs from either scratch or some pre-made templates. You can also use a lot of AI tools like text to image generation. You can add and delete things from images and you can even stylize your text. So Adobe Express is a super simple tool and it's free to use, but it also can animate some cartoon characters. So let's do that. Now to get started, I am gonna click where it says video here and animate character. And now we have landed on this page where it gives us so many options for different kinds of characters. You can select your favorite character. You can also add a background from all of these choices. I'm gonna go with this one. Yeah, that looks cool. I can relate to that guy, you know? And of course we can adjust the aspect ratio. You can do anything from landscape to Instagram post to vertical, anything. I'm gonna go with this. And now to bring this character to life, we must upload an audio file. You can record your own, which is a great option to really make it personal. But instead what I'm gonna do is I already have an audio from Eleven Labs that I generated with a simple little script and I selected a voice that I think would match my little monster over here. So now I'm gonna upload my audio and wait just a little bit to see how it turns out. You can also have two characters talk to each other on one scene, so that's pretty cool. And after waiting, here's our result. Let's take a look. And this is how it looks. Isn't it amazing? Watch how the character's mouth moves with the words. Boom. That is cool. As you just witnessed, this tool is extremely easy. It literally takes a couple of seconds and a couple of clicks. All you really need is an audio file, which is very available these days. So I would give this a big thumbs up. You know these viral videos you've seen? Now I'm gonna show you how to make them with this next tool, Viggle. It's a super fun AI tool that lets you bring photos to life with dance moves. Looking at the homepage, you can definitely tell that this is super simple to use. 
the interface is just pretty much drag and drop and generate. I don't think it gets simpler than that. You also have a lot of templates and different kinds of dancing videos available to you. Look at all these categories. I can literally scroll through these forever. There is so much. And to see what is trending right now, you can just pop into topic section and see what fits you best. All right, so I would like to begin with animating a cat. I've always wanted to see a cat do the jellyfish dance. I don't know, it's just something that my heart has always desired. Let's see if we can make that happen. So selecting the template, I'm just gonna upload a photo of a kitty cat and let's go. I do wanna point out that you definitely want to use a photo with a very simple and plain background just so it's easier for the AI to pick up the shape. You can adjust a couple of things here on the bottom. So this isn't any rocket science. Now I'm just gonna click on create and see the magic happen. I have my video ready, let's take a look. That's brilliant. That's exactly what my heart desired. Look at that. Now that we have witnessed some proper feline horror, I think I want to see what this tool can do with a photo of me. I'm going to go through the videos again and try to find something that I can clearly pull off. I mean, obviously. Oh my God, I see the preview. This must never see the light of day. Oh wait, it's on YouTube now. But it did make me look like I can pull off some mad moves. I'm actually surprised that it worked with the picture that I uploaded just because it was not a frontal normal shot. So if you do want to make a video of yourself dancing like a pro, make sure that your photo is of you just standing normally with your arms and legs by your side just so, you know, it can capture the magic. Viggle does seem like a really cool tool to use for really fun and entertaining social media content. So for example, TikTok or Instagram Reels, it is very easy to use and it is free. And as of now, when I'm making this video, they do have 10 free videos per day, which is pretty good. Check the description for the link to Viggle. I definitely suggest you check it out and have some fun. If you would like more realistic looking videos and animations, this next tool is for you. InVideo is designed for anyone looking to produce professional quality videos quickly. First, let's take a look at the user-friendly interface of InVideo. Here you have over 5,000 ready to use videos, which you can use as templates because it allows you to access the exact prompt of these videos and use it in your own creation. And you can also adjust the prompt to make it a little bit more personal. And to really show you what InVideo is capable of, just look at all of the different styles of AI generated content it can do. By the way, InVideo can actually generate a realistic human hand. That's a first. But without further ado, let me create something really quick just to show you how simple this process is. I'm going to be making a short social media educational video. So I'll begin by just entering my prompt right here and adding a couple of things. The process is so simple that I'm just telling this tool what is it that I want. It doesn't really get easier than this. I'm going to go through this list quickly, selecting every single aspect that I would want in my video. It also allows for AI voiceovers and even accents in languages. One thing I do want to point out is that previously when I used this tool, I selected my language to be English and the accent to be French, but it came out in French for some reason. So that is something to keep in mind. There might be some errors where you might have to go back and readjust. But the long list of different languages and even accents is incredible. You can also add music and subtitles, which I appreciate, especially for vertical content. Subtitles are a must. Adding everything that I want and now I'm just gonna hit generate a video. So after waiting a while, now I am left here in this window where I can specify a couple of more things to make my video better. Now we have our finished product ready. Here is where we can adjust and edit a couple of more things. And the process is super cool because you pretty much just prompt this tool to adjust things for you. For example, you notice how this video doesn't have any subtitles and we just covered how important that is. What I'm going to do is just type in enable subtitles 
and hit generate and bam I have subtitles now as you can see the subtitles are there but they're not exactly where I want them I'm gonna type in subtitles on the bottom and generate and that is literally how easy it is to adjust these things besides that you can also actually replace some of the scenes by either AI generated content or other stock footage you also have many sources where to get this footage from but it really is as simple as that. Overall, NVIDIA is absolutely amazing and where it shines is definitely the AI generated videos. I mean, you saw how many different styles there are available. Also, when it comes to editing, so easy peasy. Customization is super simple, especially for beginners. To wrap this video up, here is a quick recap of all the tools we saw today. First up, you have Kyber, which is best for artistic, experimental, and music visualization. Then you have Toon Crafter, which is ideal for consistent cartoon animation. Next up is Adobe Express, which is perfect for quick character-based content. Viggle AI is excellent for social media and short-form content. And finally, InVideo is best suited for professional marketing materials. Thanks for exploring these AI video tools with me today. I hope that this overview helps you find the right tool for your creative projects. Remember that you can find all the links to these platforms in the description. I'm always discovering new AI tools and I would love to hear about your experiences. So drop a comment letting me know which AI video tool you're curious about or are currently using. Until next time.